Oh, Lokta, Oga, my champions. It is I, Hellcream. It has been a while, has it not? I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful time. At the same time, I also hope you guys just took some time to reflect and um, sit back from the World of Warcraft, if anything. Um, essentially, what's been going on here is I've taken a bit of a hiatus from WoW. You know, I've left a bit. I've just uh, been working my ass off. I mean, I also got myself involved in a Wrath of the Lich King server when times were simpler and you had to drink after pulling one mob. Good times, were they not? But um, at the moment, I'm starting to finish off the Arthas book, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. I can't recommend it enough for people who have, do have problems about the Wrath of the Lich King. As well as I have reread um, uh, Tides of Darkness again, one of my favourite books out there. Tom is getting a bit a bit better. He seems to be recovering quite well. And um, I have been playing a lot of games to myself. I've picked up Counter-Strike and also Undertale. And whilst playing Undertale and getting heavily in love with it, it explores the I oh, for people who haven't played it, um, a general sort of synopsis. It explores the ideas of timelines and a cause and effect, a butterfly effect, if you will. Um, and what Undertale is really good at is determining what happens in the current moment will affect something later, yet at the same time, certain things are able to be reset. Now, <clears throat> I was able to sort of, um, I was taking a long drive down to London, I was able to think about some of the things that were happening throughout of Wall of the Drain on, the things that are going to be happening in Legion. We have people like Illidan coming back, we have um, certain things like uh, Deathwing, his essence lingering. Um, and it all seems to revolve around times and zones and all this sort of business. Um, and today's podcast is entitled The Great Infinite. Um, and that really sort of means the great infinite possibilities of anything that can happen will happen. Um, and that mainly goes down to the cause and effect of what is happening in the what is known in the WoW universe as the main timeline. Uh, the main timeline being the one we existed on before, um, well, the one that's always sort of existed. Um, there are, of course, Walls of Draenor being the prime example, getting a sort of pocket dimension. It wasn't a time traveller in a sense, it was a dimension where it was further back in time, but something in our timeline had changed to cause that effect. Um, the same goes for Ronin and Crassus heading back into the War of the Ancients. Um, that's another thing that also happened. It was the uh, Nosdormer was stuck in the, the time frame of it, and there was there was a problem with the current existent time frame that they went back and rectified, and they fixed the cause to that effect. If I'm still correct, it's been a while since I've read it. Um, <clears throat> what seems to be happening in Legion is basically the um, the effect of the end of Draenor, in a sense. The big controversial tweet saying that everything um, in the in the Burning Legion is transversed through the Never. Everything exists as it does because it just does. It exists all over the place. You've got the timelines. Is a thing of here's a good example. Agario. Agario is a online game. Huge, big, square box on the screen. Think of that box as the the twisting Never. It exists to everything. All the timelines are the little blips moving into each other absorbing each other, getting bigger, and opening up and creating new ones when, when new ones join, essentially. But everything exists within that. Anything outside of that is unknown to us. Um, as well as that, we need to start thinking about the powers that have been sort of bestowed from here on out. We were able to see these, if in um, Trainor we were able to see some rips in time essentially, the uh, the golden figures we saw in the Grand. At the same time in some of the playthroughs through, um, oh, in the mountains, I forget the name of it now, in the mountains in the uh, in Legion, we uh, see Deathwing's lair and inside that lair are the time trapped, or you see time trapped Deathwing, time trapped like slaves, all those sort of things are existing, but we're not sure particularly how they're existing across these dimensions. Now, one theory is simply that um, when traveling through the Grand, we were told something so horrible had happened to the Bronze Dragon and the, and the, uh, the times. Ah, blah, blah, blah. 
the um, the sands of time that it caused that rip because such a horrible cause happened it caused all those figures to appear for Deathwings there were very powerful energies from himself the old gods all the other dragons so it's able that perhaps magic in an arcane sense and in, in in magic sense were able to just sort of uh, create that like, rip essentially um, but in so having that rip is it possible you are able to bring things back? I mean, um, throughout what I explained earlier, Twisting Never, you were able to bring characters back, such as Archimond we faced and all that sort of thing. And a couple of other ones like Doom Lord Kazak, those guys were brought back originally. They're, they are confirmed to be the same ones we killed out um, in the original place. Now, if we go back to the original point of the Bronze Dragons and the Deathwing Lair having big rips in it, are we able to head back, perhaps, in time, and we're able to yank out where this soul is trapped, essentially, and yank it into our timeline? We understand we can do that, because Gul'dan has been able to travel to and from. He's travelled out of our dimension, we've travelled into his dimension. So, it is always able to be sort of moved around and traversed across, essentially. So, there is free transport between the pocket dimensions. And the twisting never just uh, it says a big green yes to all dimensions that exist. Um, we will not get into the argument of why doesn't the twisting never have a million demons that conquer a million timelines and then come do it? Because um, we've been told time and time again that Azeroth is very special, essentially. Um, whether or not what that is, we're still unsure. But for now, I'd like to just investigate the um, <clears throat> the rips. That essentially is sort of coming out of the story as well as the actual time frame in game so at this moment we're waiting on the uh, book that was uh, I think it was a uh, World, World of Warcraft elements or something like that elemental war or it was like beginnings or origins and it sounded really awesome and I really wanted it and it's uh, not coming out for a while yet um, as for the actual Legion story regarding those time rips, it gets a bit sort of funky here again, because if we look at certain things as Gul'dan obtaining such power as he's about to obtain, then we need to look into things like, if he's able to yank a being such as Archimond from the Twisting Never, and even then before it took, um, it took Elphus had a great power and a great ritual just to even communicate with Archimon, let alone summon him. Um, he was able to yank him out of the Never. Now, with this apparent Nightwell stood under him, could Gul'dan literally just usher in this sort of legion of pure darkness sort of thing? And um, in one possibility, I mean, that's why the raid exists, I assume, to go in and do that. But in other ways, it gets a bit annoying to think that why can't they just keep... I mean, a demon can just hop into Azeroth and it doesn't take a huge amount of power. It takes a great surge of something. But if you're able to summon them from the Twisting Never, that is all timelines. What is literally... I mean, it, I understand it this way. There's only that one demon existing across all that sort of thing. So there'd only be one Archimond. There'd only be one Kill Jaden. But the other demons are just sort of cannon fodder, if you will. They're able to just pre-exist. They just souls get yanked back to the twisting never. It's like if you keep throwing the same baseball over and over again, you've still got to go get it. At the end of the day, it's going to be thrown back to the same place. No matter what you do. you Unless you, of course, strike out the people. Well, unless you kill all the bowlers. If you kill all the bowlers, a new team comes out. There'll always be substitutions. So it's this constant flow of it's just coming and it's hitting and it's going. No matter what you do, there's always going to be that possibility. Unfortunately, this goes into the time frame of essentially just whereabouts do you draw the line with why don't a million demons invade Azeroth at once because of all their lines. If it takes one demon to open up a small portal, well then a million demons should open up a small portal altogether and jump in. Or such things as now the Avatar of Sargeras is 
sort of stirring by the sounds of it from what I've seen. It's, um, <clears throat> apparently from what I've heard, it's a, um, I would say it's almost a sacred place for the Burning Legion, in a sense. A immense power drawing from there, and it seems like a great, uh, well, the power you're able to draw from there can be, um, absolutely abysmal. Now, drawing timelines from the tomb is, again, different. Gul'dan will more than, more than likely, and probably already has, gone to the tomb of Sargeras um, to open it up. Now, what happened to him was, if he was, and this is if I'm correct from Warcraft 3 days, if he was originally killed by um, this, this demon who looked like Sargeras, or was the essence of Sargeras, to me, that seems like there was a big enough rip, essentially, to do something with it, essentially, if he was ripped apart and wide open, all that sort of thing. And Gul'dan goes back there again, that's a huge paradox in time, and I think that might be enough to cause something even worse than already what's coming out. If there are rips to where the Burning Legion are coming out, that's almost just another portal for them. Um, I would like to know what you guys think, really. <clears throat> I want to know what you sort of think about the idea of um, the difference between sort of legion portals appearing at current times and how unstable Azeroth is now in terms of time rips and all this sort of thing heading out where basically if there's a rip in time there's an access to the well there is an access to the burning legion um, let me know what you guys think, let me know what you want me to talk about next, I know they're a bit slow, but I'm sort of running dry out on them at the moment, but I'll keep trying to head them up, post them out, and I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas, and the New Year's gonna be a good time for us all, I can just feel it. Lokta, Oga, and, uh, take it easy, guys, I love you all. Bye-bye.